Hi, my name is Mirko. I'm a data scientist at BIT, and I want you to look at these people. They look like they have a history, a certain backstory, a bright future ahead of themselves, and maybe even kind of a sparkle in their eyes. But what if I told you there is zero chance you will encounter them in the street because they do not exist. So what I just showed you are generated images. Image generation is the task of generating something new from an already existing data set of example images. And the result is a realistic looking picture, but one that has never seen the light of day before. Image generation falls within the field of artificial intelligence. In short, that's AI. And AI is the science of letting a computer create something or make decisions all by itself, which it has learned from giving it a lot of examples instead of, for example, predefined human-made rules. In this case, it learns how to create a human-like and realistic looking face. So, how does this actually work? I'm going to get a little bit technical, but stay with me. Generally, in AI, uh, image generation is handled by models that we call GANs. A GAN stands for a Generative Adversarial Network. Generative because it generates pictures. Adversarial because it has two components that compete with each other. And those two components are called the generator, the one that actually creates the images, and the discriminator, the one that is the judge of detecting whether the generated image is realistic and can be distinguished from an actual picture, for example. Uh, while the AI model is training, uh, both the generator and the discriminator try to fool each other. The generator tries to make the best human-like face as possible and the discriminator starts to getting better at detecting the ones from the generator or the real pictures. And while they keep training and training, they start to get better and better at their jobs. Uh, until the point that we as creators uh, find that the results are good enough and we can stop the training process, throw away the judge, the discriminator, and just keep the generative part and use that for our applications. So, generating faces is all fun and games, but let's talk applications. The first one is for the police. So the police, when they try to find someone, they bring in a sketch artist and let that artist draw a face of the person that they're looking for. So looking for a person with just a sketch is way more difficult than if you were to have the picture. So what if we input the sketch into the AI algorithm that creates a realistic looking version out of it, we can use that realistic looking version to actually start looking for someone. Application two. Adobe recently introduced a new plugin for their Photoshop tool to edit faces with the use of such an AI model. So if I load my face into uh, Photoshop, I can alter my gender or my age or my hairstyle or the color of my eyes just by clicking on a button instead of as a Photoshop artist having to meticulously edit the picture with a lot of expertise in order to create something that looks realistic. And the third application is about object removal. You can imagine when taking a picture on your holiday, there's maybe some tourists in the background that you'd rather not have on your picture. With image generation, you can paint out those objects, uh, either in an image or a video, and it will generate what's behind the object you want to get rid of, uh, as it would correspond with the environment. Um, within a video, it can actually track the object throughout the video, and paint out everything that would be behind it from the point of view of the camera. So generating fake faces, for example, brings up a lot of news and ethics about deep fakes, fake social media accounts or fake news. Um, one thing I'd like to note on this topic is that there also is a lot of research going on into detecting these generated images so that their objective is to distinguish real from fake and protect the public about 
fake news, for example. Thanks for watching. This was the tech update by Bit about image generation, and I hope to see you in the next one.